To look at Brighton today, it's hard to imagine that huge cattle yards once blanketed the town, providing beef for George Washington's Continental Army. Few signs of the old stockyards remain, but the legacy of the Irish who came to work in the yards remains strong at places like Devlin's, where Tom Devlin will still fry you up an authentic Irish breakfast. Today, Brighton is far more diverse, with Asians, African Americans, and Hispanics all finding a home here. And at St. Elizabeth's Medical Center, the spirit of those first immigrants continues. I felt it was important uh, to give back to the hospital that had given me my, my life back. When St. Elizabeth's recently dedicated its brand new emergency department, Libby Margolis had to be there. By all rights, Libby should be dead. Some 30 years ago, she survived unconscious, trapped for 25 minutes underwater in a sunken car in the Charles River. Did you see yourself as a miracle? I see myself as the product of a lot of hard work and creativity, actually, by a lot of medical professionals. Those guys refused to stop. They refused to stop trying. There was no electrical activity on the heart monitor. She was not breathing. Uh, her skin was blue, she was totally drenched, uh, and looked like uh, a dead young woman. A team of ER doctors and nurses gradually raised Libby's core temperature. I think that night we were all pretty confident that she had a chance to make it. I think the big question mark was, was her brain going to make it? Make sure I... Dr. Rick Herman is now, 30 years later, an ER doctor in the Caritas Hospital System. You know, I carry a little bit of Libby with me in every uh, case like this. That's why I chose emergency medicine as a specialty. It was that combination of working as a team and being able to save a life that made me decide to do that. Libby and her husband have three daughters and live in Maine. She's a successful businesswoman and travel writer. Why did you come for the ER dedication? I came because I wouldn't have missed it for all the world. I wanted to come be part of the festivities here and congratulate all the wonderful people here who saved not only my life, but hundreds of lives every year, every day. Yeah, so we've doubled our capacity. The emergency department, which once saved Libby Margolis, is now a 21st century marvel, rebuilt to meet the needs of the community. It allows for communications to be facilitated. We can literally view an x-ray at the same time it's being done and communicate with a radiologist on the other side of the hospital. These rooms are uh, the latest and greatest in technology. We have a bedside computer here so we can show patients an image. We never have to worry about not having certain stock because everything is checked on a daily basis. And then wheeled out and wheeled, wheeled in. out with a new one wheeled in. The hospital is so proud of its efficient quality care for ER patients, it now displays waiting times on a billboard across the street. But one thing has not changed in this bright modern ER, a passion for helping others and the belief that community hospitals play a vital role in that mission. Well, I think the future of medicine is in the community, that the uh, quality of care and the cost of care that you can provide in a community setting is, 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 is the right equation to, uh, to keep people locally. And that's what we've achieved here. 